Traditionally, uh, over the past uh, 14 months, 15 months, uh, one indispensable feature of our weekly reports to you is a report from the legal front, the attempt to expose yeah. the non-qualification of uh, Barack Hussein Obama, a.k.a. Barry Sotoro, Sotero, uh, not qualified for the presidency. And for that, we go directly to the leading expert in the field, Phil Berg of Philadelphia. Welcome, Phil. Please give us the news of the week. Well, the news of the week progressing slowly, but we were supposed to have an argument this past Monday in the Third Circuit Court of Appeals. I believe I told you last week they decided they're going to handle the case without a real argument. I'm not sure why, but on the briefs, it could be they didn't want publicity or who knows why. Um, a lot of times it's done in many cases, though, so I'm not taking it as a negative. Also, it's given us an opportunity twice this week to uh, send, we sent judicial notice uh, to the Third Circuit Court of Appeals of Judge Carter's statements, one his statement and one part of his ruling in the uh, California case, which unfortunately he just dismissed for lack of standing, but he brought up a very interesting point, and he got the U.S. Attorney and the Attorney General's Office of the United States to admit that there would be standing if the case had been filed before the election. Uh, in the case the, out in uh, California, it's the Wiley Drake case, and they, uh, it was filed by Orly Tate, who I have so many negative comments to talk right. about, but, but Orly Tate filed it on the afternoon of January 20th after Obama became president. And the judge said, well, you know, uh, that's now it, it's different. The court should not have any effect on that. It would be up to Congress. But he did get the uh, U.S. attorney and the attorney general's office to admit that if it was done before the election, there would be standing. Well, I filed mine August 21st, 2008, so we asked that the court, the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, take judicial notice of the judges uh, in the, uh, the California case opinion that uh, there would be standing. So I'm hopeful Very another good. notch in our direction. Great. So, so what is that, uh, that they're accusing her of latches, right, if you don't assert your rights in a timely way, you've waived them? Yes, well, in a way, but they're also, yeah, they're saying that basically once she's sworn in, it's a matter for Congress. Um, and our position is that uh, that's wrong anyhow because he's a usurper. He has no business being there. But... But our strength is based upon what George Carter said, and that is not what Judge Carter. Judge Carter uh, specifically asked questions of the U.S. Attorney for the United States, representative and representative of the U.S. Justice Department, and uh, they, they basically came out and said, yes, there would be standing if the action had been filed before the election. Well, I filed my case before the election, so I'm hoping. Absolutely. Uh, then that you never know. So we're proceeding. That's the Third Circuit. We're, uh, we just gave them a second. Uh, right now we're doing a judicial notice of the opinion that came out yesterday where Judge Carter dismissed the case for lack of standing. But he also he basically crucified Orly Tate for her actions or inactions or inappropriateness. Um, and I, I think it's time that uh, everyone in this movement, call us birthers, whatever you want to call it, tell Orly Tate we're, we're done with you. Because she's been a total embarrassment to the legal profession. She's been a total embarrassment to this cause. Um, she had, it was fined uh, sanctions of twenty thousand dollars in uh, the Georgia case, and here the Judge Carter in the California case has really chastised her for her lack of uh, proper service of the complaint, her procedural nightmare, and also uh, her remarks, uh, and also asking she directed many people to call the judge's chambers to uh, try to influence him, mm. and that's just not what you do as an attorney. And I really think she's a plant. I think she's been a plant. I think, I don't know if she's being paid for by Obama or someone else supporting his position. It's time that people shun her, uh, let her stop giving her any attention because she's a nightmare, and let's stay focused like I've been since the beginning. The place to go is Obamacrimes.com, O-B-A-M-A-C-R-I-M-E-S, Obamacrimes.com. Uh, we are focused. Aside from so, I feel encouraged on that case, and we still have our two other cases in the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. Um, we're, we are proceeding. 
uh, one on the interpleader action by retired Air Force Colonel Hollister, and the other on our false claims act, stating that we believe that Obama is not only not natural born, he's not naturalized, he's an illegal alien, therefore he cannot serve as president, nor could he serve as the United States Senator from Illinois, therefore all the money that he received should be returned to the U.S. Treasury, and that's totaling a million dollars, plus the money's now, because if I'm correct that he can't be a U.S. Senator, he obviously can't be a U.S. President, and um, it's, it's really outrageous that we're about to uh, go into November 2009, and we still know nothing about Obama. As we discussed before, we don't even know if he's really born August 4, 1961, because we've never seen any legitimate document uh, documenting that. The only thing we saw is the phony document, a uh, cold, which they put on their campaign website in uh, June of 2008, and it, 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 it really is outrageous. Well, you have the merit, of course, of having get, put your uh, legal action in at the Supreme Court, not only before the election, but indeed before the Democratic National Convention even nominated Obama for the presidency. So you are essentially, you've done it all in a timely way. And what, do we know what Orly Tate's reason for waiting until the afternoon when Obama was already in power? Was there some reason for that? No, in, in that particular case she filed it, and she didn't even have permission from some of her clients to file it. I, she, really, she's a nightmare. She's a total disgrace. You, and you've known me a long time. I don't doubt other attorneys. I respect other attorneys' opinion. But this early Tate has done everything to hurt this movement, you know, by accusing the Supreme Court of hiding her file, by writing letters to the FBI and CIA asking them to investigate the U.S. Supreme Court. You know, why I didn't agree with the Supreme Court ruling denying my application for injunctions, you know, uh, they're doing their job. They're doing what they think is best. And I'm hoping that that my case is now that if they get before the U.S. Supreme Court, that they hear the case on the merits because I really believe, in, and not because I filed it, but these cases are the most significant cases in the history of our country, and it deals with an absolute hoax put forth by a, a person and, and people behind him on the citizens of this country, and it's a disgrace. And, and seriously, Orly Tate, um, she is a disgrace. She's an embarrassment. And I really think that uh, one of these days she's going to get disbarred in, in, in California for all the actions she's done in this case. It, it's outrageous. To I'm sure next she's going to take on Judge Carter as she took on Judge Land. Um, she, Judge Land had uh, given a rule to show cause why he should not impose a $10,000 fine against her. On the last day for filing, she files for an extension and also files a motion that he recuse himself, uh, accusing him of all kinds of falsities. And I'm sure she's going to go after Judge Carter now. Um, you know, the, the, the problem has been in how the cases are being presented by or Orly Tate. Those uh, Georgia cases were based on uh, military people that uh, also filed as conscientious objectors. And then, you know, a conscientious objector is not sent to a war zone. And then she was trying to get, she came up and said that the, um, therefore the military caved into her. And this California case, she even put out a press release the other day how there's going to be a hearing in January. You know, she doesn't know what she's talking about, and, and she, on the other hand, she just misleads information. <laughs> Thank you very much, Phil. We'll, we'll, we'll be looking forward to hearing from you again next week. Okay, thanks. Obamacron.com. Send us some money. Absolutely. Thank you.